Uh, my name's Larry. Uh, I'm an alcoholic and a drug addict. Um, probably most importantly, I'm uh, an ex-patient of the Priory. Uh, coming to rehab at the Priory was probably the most important thing I've done in my life. I'd known for quite a few years that I had a, uh, problems with alcohol and, and drugs. I was in denial about them. Um, I was going through good times and bad times. Um, I've now subsequently learned that this is a progressive disease that gets progressively worse, not better. Um, <clears throat> what I found was um, my life was slowly getting worse. I'd lost my relationship. Um, I'd lost my job. Uh, I was unemployable and um, things were looking pretty bleak for me. Um, my behaviours were becoming very antisocial. And, and although I know I needed help, um, I always saw other methods of therapy and solutions rather than making the full decision to come into to rehab and everything that that entailed. And so when I've reached a point where I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, I had no more options and I'd run out of road, that's when I realised I had to get serious help and um, I was lucky enough to come to the Priory and from the day that I turned up, unlike my normal behaviour, I did what I was told. Um, I followed the advice of the therapists, I did my work, good and bad, and the decision to get better, really I knew that was within me and nobody else. I heard a good thing uh, at a meeting yesterday describing addiction as being in a cage and the keys are on the inside. It just describes that that really is, my, my, my addictions are in my head. Um, they're nobody else's fault but mine and uh, I'm responsible for going into recovery. Having said that, uh, I do believe it's a disease that can't be battled on your own. I've tried many a times to, to give up and change my behaviour, but I always found my addiction was stronger than I was. Um, so whatever decisions I would make in my life to change things, it wasn't long before I was back where I was. And I think this is the, the key point about uh, treatment is that um, it's not something that can be achieved um, on our own. It needs to be done with other people. Um, and so it's important that group therapy exists because it's probably the only time you start to talk about things that are probably you wouldn't want to talk about with anybody else. The, the Priory is, is, is the real deal for me. Um, it, it's fantastic surroundings. It's a bit of serenity and peace. Um, the facilities are great. The staff uh, know what they're doing. There's a huge amount of care goes into, into their, well, a lot of care f from them. And for people considering coming, whether it's families, worried about loved ones, whether it's individuals, I could not recommend it highly enough. I think um, it's a great step forward. It's a chance to write a new chapter. And um, although the 28 days is just, it's just the start of a, of a journey of recovery, but it's a great start, and um, it, but it needs to be worked on afterwards. But you know, uh, th there's so much that can be done in in 28 days, and things you find out about yourself that you you just never knew. I think they describe addiction as um, like an iceberg, with uh, the 10 percent visible is the drinking and the drugging and the chaos, but the other 90 percent that you can't see is beneath beneath the surface, and I think. A facility like this tries to get at that hidden 90% um, that will, even we probably don't realise it. And as it's a, dis a disease of deception and denial, it's a cunning and baffling disease and it needs professional help to be, to be um, worked on. I don't think there's a better start for a journey of recovery than coming to a 28-day rehab. And actually, I think the, the Priory is the place to come to.